All right, guys, so I'm starting today's vlog off right here, right now. It is currently, I don't even know what time to be honest, but. I'm about to go learn how to power lift because I've never done that before and you guys are always like Sydney you should try that because um, you know it's cool to try new things but I decided to finally like jump and just go head first or dive in head first to do that so I'm actually going to pick up my friend Katie right now as we speak we have a wild Katie running 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 <laughs> jumping Okay, we're just not gonna judge Sydney right now. <laughs> what is? <laughs> That's why he's shopping. Oh god. Katie, how do you feel running to the beast? It was fun. <laughs> we're gonna get there at 4.48. That's like an hour and 12 minutes early. <laughs> yeah, pretty workout. But the thing is, on the way there, I'm gonna eventually, we'll, we'll explore Tempe. But. All right guys, update. My fuel light is currently on. Katie, how do you feel about this? We're gonna have to push the car. Hi, hi, how are you? Doing well, how are you? Good, okay, so I'm working on getting a good coffee order going, okay. so I'm trying something <laughs> different, but like I haven't figured it out because I always just get tea. So I'm thinking something with a coffee base. I do like low calorie, so I have to do like the light stuff, like sugar-free pumps and everything. Okay. What do you think I should do? Um, are you looking for something that with has caffeine. caffeine? I'm about to work out. Do you want milk in it? I, I do. Almond milk. Almond milk. Okay. Um, so for my sugar-free flavors, I just have vanilla and cinnamon dolce. Yeah, let's do vanilla. Okay. Definitely not my favorite. But it's not bad. What is it? Try it. I have tea. I don't care, try mouth. it. But I have tea in my mouth. It's like the taste. Fine. Just try it. <laughs> it has a little bit of rice. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's too much almond milk in it. Bam. So I'm here with Jimmy now. What's I know up? I started my vlog earlier, but now I'm officially here. You guys saw I had disgusting Starbucks and that was disgusting and gross. But now I'm here and we're about to hit this uh, beginner workout sesh. What are we exactly so, doing? Basically the plan is today we're gonna go try some deadlifts mm -hmm. for any of you guys that are in the gym and having some trouble with like basic deadlifting. Um, my plan is to basically give you guys some beginner tips so you guys can try to implement into your workouts that maybe will give you some uh, help and maybe get you guys a little bit stronger, a little bit more efficient, maybe save you guys some injuries along the way, and uh, hopefully maybe just get you guys a little bit more uh, respected to the movement of the deadlift. So, and that's kind of my specialty when it comes to lifting. That's what I like to do the most. Yeah, so, and so I'll have all his right here and in the description box if you guys want to go and check him out. He is like insane, and if you guys want to see insanity <laughs> in the like fitness aspect, go check him out. Really just insane in the head, but she's just being nice. No, no, so. he's, he's, he's <laughs> solid, guys. Like, he's good at whatever he does. <laughs> you do like 10 different things or whatever. Like, you do like jujitsu. Yeah. You do powerlifting. Mm -hmm. What else? I know uh, there's something else. Yeah, I competed in bodybuilding before too uh, when I was in high school. So that and wrestling and then powerlifting for a couple years. I competed in my first professional meet um, when I was 20 at Mr. Olympia in 2016. And then since then I started doing jujitsu as well. And then top that off with being able to walk my dogs and do my homework. So I live a pretty uh, fancy life, might I, you might go to I ASU? say. Yeah, I go to ASU too. What's so, your major? Uh, I'm a business administration major and then uh, I'm in Barrett Honors College as well. See you guys. Yeah, let's jump into this workout and yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, I took my shoes off and we're about to go deadlift. <laughs> Start off, like, I'll have you guys warm up at the bar, but then Aww. I'll put like 25 on each side to where it, like, kind of, it's the same height, but like it's lighter weight. Uh -huh. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want you guys to start with the one plate. I don't even know if I could even do that, you guys. Yeah, so let's <laughs> put boxes under it and uh -huh. we'll simulate the same height, uh -huh. but. Um, we can kind of play around and be safer with the lighter weight and then if it feels good then we'll go up um, we want we won't do anything too crazy but uh, we'll just make sure that everything's just moving and feeling good and just get the technique down first so. <laughs> starting off one of the biggest things to kind of take take note of um, is going to be like foot placement obviously you don't want to be too wide you don't want to be too narrow a lot of your stance has to do with your own body leverages um, how tall and how long your legs are uh, how wide of a person you are, it plays into a lot of different things. Personally, 
Um, like I'll dance is like kind of right under shoulder width apart, and then with that too, I also point my toes out very slightly. What that does, it gets a little bit more like hip and glute recruitment in, just by turning your toes out a little bit. So with like the glutes being a major part of the deadlift, you want to try to set up a stance that'll help activate your glutes once you start getting to the heavier weights. Um, from here, the most basic way you can go about it, I like to just bend straight over with my legs pretty straight and grab the bar. From here, you're gonna kind of think about pulling yourself down into a position by like pulling in, pulling onto the bar and then sinking your hips. From here, I wanna kind of make sure that my shins are as upright as possible, as vertical as possible. And then my chest, as much as possible, is gonna be try to expand and look up with the bar. If you were to get to the side of me, two key points to take note of are gonna be trying to have vertical shins, like I said, and then also the, the front of my shoulders Sorry, yeah. So if you're looking at the side of me here, I have vertical shins as much as possible. And then also my shoulders are aligned with the front of the bar as much as possible. I don't want to be too far over, that'll throw me off. And I don't want to be too far behind, that'll throw me off too. So there, everyone has their like sweet spot when it comes to deadlifting. So um, my best point is if you're like recording yourself, record from the side and kind of see where you're at. If you're too far over, you know, you need to bring yourself back a little bit and vice versa. So um, for me personally, this is going to be a pretty good position for me to pull at. And so basically from here, all I'm going to do is get my shoulders rolled back, which is going to help straighten out my spine. My head's going to be not looking up, but kind of looking straight forward. That's this is going to keep my spine nice and neutral. I don't want to have too much of an awkward thing like this. I just want to keep it straight. And then from here, all I'm going to do, I'm going to think about driving my feet through the floor. And then coming up, I'm going to try to squeeze my butt to lock out to the finish. You're going to lock out of like your knees and bring your butt straight through as if you're just standing straight up normally. Okay. So, and that's going to be through your full like contraction through your glutes. Okay. And that's where like someone like you, if, um, you're trying to focus line on like bikini, uh, bikini okay, shows and like, yeah, figures, and you're trying to bring up your glutes. This is like a great movement to do so because a lot of it has to do with glute power essentially, you know? sure everything stays straight up. Don't come over a bit. Just everything just standing straight up with the bar. Like this? Your foot, yeah. And so from there, all you're really going to do is literally bend straight over and grab it. Like just bend like, like this. Just like legs in the air still and everything. And then, grip. and then once you have the grip on it, then you're going to sink your butt down and then go until your, yeah, until your chin shut. Have your arms as straight as possible, good. And then literally all you're going to do, roll your shoulders back and then drive your feet through the floor. Yeah, and then bring your butt through. You want to almost like think about squeezing your butt. Okay, hold on. Drive, drive through the floor and squeeze your butt. Yeah. And then just get like 10 reps or so, just like that. Yeah, as you come up, really think about just squeezing your cheeks together. It'll help make the blood a smoother. Oh, Look at Katie, you guys.
things to know how to do is learn how to engage or brace your core. Your core is going to be, well, your, it's called your core for a reason, right? So it's yeah. like the center of like everything. Um, a lot of people neglect, take a big breath of air in, like through your mouth, and then what you're going to do, you're going to kind of send it down into your stomach, and what you're going to do, you're going to kind of brace as if you're going to like get punched in the stomach. So if I'm going to get punched in the stomach, and I go, Great, so if somebody's gonna punch me, I wanna hold it. And so what that's doing is it's getting all the muscle around your core area active before you already lift, and it'll help take a lot of pressure off your lower back. It'll help keep your back nice and straight. You can't fall asleep when you're counting stars. Get it together. Your mind can't sleep when you let it serve. I know you wanna see me fall. From a quarter mile, I can like see you at the call Think about it, ring will tell you what I saw When you break it up, you'll see who had it all And I did a couple like one reps. I think I did like four or five of them. Katie's back here. She did some cardio, something that I need to do but I don't do. All right, guys, we are currently at Sushi Station getting our post workout food. It's revolving sushi. She will not eat sushi normally in Arizona, but I, I think I finally convinced her. So this gonna be good. This is what it looks like. Isn't that cool? Smile. All right, guys. So that's the end of this vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed and you guys enjoyed seeing me lift i haven't done that kind of thing in a long time you guys see i usually go light and this is still kind of light but i did 185 so i was really proud of myself and katie's here and we got tyler hit him up if you guys uh, have a big booty and then there's gabe hit him up i'll have his stuff in the description box as well <laughs> um but yeah i love you guys so much i'll talk to you guys in my next video and peace out